tutorial we're going to be looking at the new sampling capability of the Analog Rhythm MK2. So I have my microphone going into the left audio in. To enter the sampling menu, we're going to press the button next to the main volume knob. There's a few settings in this menu. Knob F controls our threshold amount. If we have an arm track, whenever our audio signal goes above this line, the rhythm will begin to record. Knob G lets us select which audio source we're sampling from. Left input, right input, bass drum to cymbal let you choose the input source for the internal audio from the separate drum tracks. And main selects our left and right inputs and sums them into one stereo track. Knob H lets us choose if we want to monitor our mix or not. So let's set our threshold since both of my hands are occupied. To arm our track, press yes. To stop sampling, press yes. I'm just going to choose one of these and cut the rest off. To trim the beginning of the sample, use the A knob. If you press down while turning, you can turn through faster increments. To trim the end, we use knob C. To preview our sample, press function plus yes. Perfect. We're going to press yes again to save it. After you've named your sample, we're asked if we want to assign our sample to a pad. Let's give that a try first. I'm going to exit the sampling menu and press play. We set our sample to pad 3. Let's make sure the internal engine is set to 0 because I don't want to mix both engines. I had something else going on on this pad before we applied the sample, so I'm going to turn off the delay and reverb. We can play our sample chromatically, but not time stretched. I'm going to place a few steps on my sequencer. And turn off the overdrive because it's too loud. I have two patterns changed, so I'm going to add steps to both patterns. So now I can play with my sample like anything else on the rhythm. Change parameters, motion record, edit my start and end time, fun stuff. So let's try our second saving option. I'm going to pick a different part of the sample. I'm going to save it, but I'm going to select no when prompted. So you would think it would be under your sample folder, right? Wrong. First we need to add it to our project. To do that, we're going to hit the settings button, samples, and we're in our recording folder. And here's our recording. I'm going to select it and load it into my project. Now it should be under my samples. Another cool thing about the new rhythm is the new transfer app. Before, loading samples onto the rhythm was a hassle with the old and outdated C6 application. Getting samples onto your rhythm with the new transfer app is a breeze, so make sure to download it from the Electron website. That's it for today guys, if you enjoyed this tutorial don't forget to subscribe and give it a thumbs up.